to that first win of the year. Very good. Very good. Now, there was a, uh, a lot of difference in the second half from the first half there. What happened at halftime? What did you tell the boys that uh, brought about that big spurt after the halftime? Well, I don't think it was very complimentary. Uh, they, uh, it wasn't so much of what we said, but uh, how the boys felt. Uh, they were discouraged with themselves. They felt that they had done poorly, uh, even though we were leading 7-6. to six, And uh, we came out in the second half. We started doing things right. And our first play from scrimmage, we ran uh, 58 yards for a touchdown. So they came back ready to play the second half, and we hope that it's uh, the beginning. All right, now what do we got coming next week? We have a very fine ball club, uh, John Moses at Tipton, and uh, they lost their first ball game last Friday night. So they are 3-1. and one. What uh, have you been working on this week uh, looking towards Tipton? Well, they are a fine executing ball club. They do things well. They don't do many things, but uh, by that I mean a variety of things. They, uh, but what they do, they do well, and we're trying to get our defensive uh, alignment and with our own offensive execution this week. Uh, I think maybe last week we spent a little too much on defense, and uh, our timing was poor the first half, and then uh, after a while we got back pretty well, so we're working mainly on timing this week. You healthy this week? Uh, well, as far as the ball game from Friday night, we're healthy. Uh, last Thursday night we found out that one of our starting halfbacks had a broken hand that he'd had for two weeks, and... Uh, uh, it was more or less what we considered a bruise, and he went and he had a slight fracture in his hand, and he'll be out for about three more weeks. So uh, other than that, we're fairly healthy. We've had the same run-of-the-mill bad colds and flu that everybody has, but uh, other than that, injury-wise, we're pretty well fixed. Okay, good luck to you.